We also have stowaway storage. And we've got some literature on the front of here which tells us about cutting conductive materials in bypass mode, also changing the brake, and inside we have storage. We actually have our miter gauge stored in here nicely. As you see it's a standard T-track. Inside we have extra room for another brake. We've got storage for our fence guard and then also the riding knife which can be switched out. And we also have some allen keys that allow us to make adjustments on the saw. The table comes with a very substantial throat plate uh, which I believe was plunged in the factory so it's pretty much a zero clearance throat plate. Uh, it has a locking tab so if we pop that and pull out our throat plate you can actually see we have adjustment screws which we can use the allen keys to adjust so that we're perfectly flat with the table. With the throat plate removed, we have access to the riving knife and blade guard changing. And this is achieved by a very simple lever that clamps it in place. We lower it to lock it or raise it to remove it. And then in our storage here at the edge, we have blade guard and very simply slips back into the same slot, turn the lever, we're locked in place. Then we can reinstall the throat plate. And store a riving knife. Another neat function of this saw is the ability to modify the fence guard. We can actually remove the guard completely and pull up the anti-kickback mechanism. And that way we can pass boards without marring up the surface if that's of concern. Our blade guard goes back just as easily as it came apart. We can lower the anti-kickback mechanism and simply slip back on the blade guard and we're ready to cut.